At Easter, Australia's religious leaders invoke the name of God in order to preach peace, tolerance, political integrity, social and moral uh, fortitude, all obviously positive and worthwhile values. My question is, in what way is the practice of these values dependent on an existing God? Is it possible for an atheist to be, be, to be a peace-loving, socially responsible person? Richard Dawkins, let's start with you. Well, obviously, the answer to that question is yes. I mean, that could hardly be otherwise. Um, it is true that uh, Christianity has adopted many of the best values of, huma of humanity, but they don't belong to Christianity or indeed to any other religion. I think it would be very sad if it were true that you really did need religion in order to be good. Because if you think about it, what that would mean would be either that you get your morals and your values from the Bible or the Quran or some other holy book, or that you are good only because you're frightened of God, because you don't want to go to hell or you do want to go to heaven. Now, as for getting your morals from the Bible, I very sincerely hope nobody does get their morals from the Bible. It's true that you can find the occasional good verse, and the Sermon on the Mount would be, would be one example, but it's lost amid the awful things that are dotted throughout the Old Testament and actually throughout the New Testament as well, because the, the idea, the fundamental idea of New Testament Christianity, which is that Jesus is the Son of God who is redeeming humanity from original sin, the idea that we are born in sin and the only way we can be redeemed from sin is through the death of Jesus. I mean, that's a horrible idea. It's a horrible idea that God, this paragon of wisdom and uh, uh, knowledge, power, couldn't think of a better way to forgive us our sins than to come down to earth in his alter ego as his son and have himself hideously tortured and executed so that he could forgive himself. OK, let's go to George Pell on that. Well, there's, there's quite a few things that uh, might be said. Uh, first of all, our tradition goes back about 4,000 years. So whatever these values are uh, that uh, we've taken over, we've got to go back a little bit of a distance. And it's interesting to look at uh, pagan Rome before there was Christian influence. 40% were slaves. Men and women fought one another to the death in the, you know, the, the Circus Maximus or the Colosseum. Women uh, had no rights uh, whatsoever. Uh, infanticide was practised regularly. Uh, the noble families didn't want baby girls. Christianity changed that, not perhaps by itself, but largely. And um, the Christian story, uh, we're Christians, we're New Testament people. There was an evolution in the Old Testament uh, and there are some uh, awful things there. It developed. The notion of God was purified as it went through the uh, Old uh, Testament. Can I, can I just interrupt you just to bring you to the point of the question, which was really about whether atheists can lead a good life and be good people and oh, socially yeah, responsible and so on. Yeah, absolutely. You accept that? Yeah, absolutely. I think it helps to, uh, to believe in God because uh, there's a, a Polish poet, Milos, who says that the opium of the people today is the belief that they won't be judged by God when they die. That those who have committed great crimes, done awful things, are going to get away with it. And uh, that the people who've suffered uh, unjustly, had terrible lives, that's 